Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. What a mess! Needed kick. What? Hey, I'm no cold-blooded killer like your mom. Thank uh, you for this. Oh, they're expecting to get executed. No, you're joining us, you. aren't you? I, I can give you information, military secrets. Uh, uh, I can tell you how to release your U-boat. Oh, and also there are escape pods over there. I know the codes to open them. Hey, hey, back up. How do we release the U-boat? The door there leads to the controller bay with the electromagnetic tractor arms. You can deactivate them from there and that will release your boat. Wait, you, you, you can get this door open? Yes. <sighs> <sighs> Cap! Come on, go in there, find the controller bay, and release our U-boat! I'm gonna stay here and defend the escape pods. Hurry back and we'll get out of here together. Sounds good. Let's get this done! Oh, their ear is still attached. It got just a little bit nicked by the axe. I thought maybe it had gotten cut off. Uh, I don't... I can't remember this character's name, but I hope they're actually gonna join us and not just disappear. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be a significant character. Even if they don't join us, I'm sure they'll come back again, probably. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Cap. Go in there. Find the controller bay. Hold on, I'll hold on. Here. I'm gathering supplies. All right, this is the first time I can move around with full speed and from a uh, more familiar perspective. All right. Oh my God. Right, I'm in the suit. That gives me not just. Uh, that doesn't just make me as powerful as I was before, that makes me more powerful than I originally was. I can sprint super fast, even with dual-wielding weapons. Look at this. My god. I'm sorry about your friend. I'd rather not talk about it. But Power slam? Please. I can power slam in this armor? I wonder if I'm gonna have this armor for the whole game. Uh, space and left control. Damn. Floor gratings, wooden crates, enemies. Keep your shit together, White. Need you to step up now. Damn. Okay, a lot to get used to. Use your fire hatch to break open hatches, wooden doors, and crates. And the example shows you breaking open a crate to get a helmet. <laughs> oh, Blazkowicz is addicted to those helmets. Crates can contain valuable items. Uh huh. Gauge and MA melee range. Sneak in from behind. Yep. Okay. Such cool lighting, look at that. Telling me how to do takedowns. Oh, don't worry. I think I remember. Oh my god! <sighs> Before I used a knife, now I've got an axe plus power armor equals cutting off their legs. Now let's go out of takedown. you go upstairs. Please watch over our people while I get this done. Just looking for secrets. Ooh, that's that's death down there.
Okay, so I finally have multiple weapons. Oh, they changed the weapon selection thing a lot. Uh, not that. V. Yeah, interesting. This is probably an improvement, so... I don't know how obvious... Oh, whoa, I can have I can have two different types of weapons, dual wielding? Oh, that's new. Anyway, uh, yeah, in the New Order and in the Old Blood, which both had the same systems and everything. Um, you could switch weapons... Uh, I guess two main ways. Technically three, I think. The two main ways to switch, though, are pressing the keys on the keyboard. Um, the numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't do that very often, because... The only ones that are easy to reach for me when I have my fingers on WASD is probably about 1 through 5, and that would just give you, like, knife, pistol, and just a couple things, and didn't give you a very good selection. So usually I would use the scroll wheel, and what the scroll wheel did is it brought up something that looked sort of like this. So you'd have to scroll through this using the scroll wheel up and down to switch between them. However, now the scroll wheel seems to just cycle through your weapons like this. I'm using the scroll wheel right now. It just seems to cycle between them. And if you hold down V, that opens this menu, sort of like how the scroll wheel was. Probably for the best, because the scroll wheel was always pretty finicky, because uh, there were a lot of weapons to choose from, so I think I died quite a few times trying to select the right weapon. So perhaps this will be better. Oh. Oh, I see. So you, yeah, you can have different weapon wheels for each hand. That's how you switch for the left hand or for the right hand. So this is the one for the left hand, and this is the one for the right. Interesting. I'm using the mouse to navigate these, not the scroll wheel. Obviously this is meant for thumbsticks, however, so it's a little bit weird. We'll uh, see how it turns out. For now, let's do wield these. Oh, my max health is still 50? I guess the power armor wouldn't change that. Hmm, I hope that changes soon. Oh, I have 200 armor though. That's nice. Got the good old signals. Oh, they've changed though, how they how they show you the uh, direction. It used to be just a little white dot at the outer edge of those circles that would show you the direction of the commander, but now it's kind of like a, I don't know, sort of like radio frequency volume bars or something, as if you're getting a signal from that direction. Like they taught us back in boot camp. Take out the commanders first. Ah, General Engel. Bitte bestätigen Sie die Anzahl feindlicher Züge auf dem Ausmerz. Kommandant! Hallo! Kommandant Mannheimer! Enigma codes. So that's the thing again. Oh, that's just for Nazi commanders. Oh no, that is the one. They'll reveal top secret and valuable information within the area controlled by the looted commander. Collected codes can be decrypted when an Enigma code machine becomes accessible. Oh, that's different. I think it just unlocked, like, challenges or something. Those, uh, uh codes that you would find in the new order. This sounds different. Like, if you collect enough, maybe it gives you bonus loot or something? Hmm. I need to try that out. Well, there's the commander I got. Oh, the thing on my right hand is a freaking pistol. Shit. No, actually, yeah, left hand. There we go. Odin. Automated 
fucking security system. The particles and all the feedback when you're shooting are so satisfying. It's just... <laughs> shooting these guns is just sexy. Oh. Oh, crap. Here it is. Maintenance workers no tractor arms status report completed. Added failsafe. Tractor clamps can only be disabled from main control room. Not another Chicago incident, please. Bolted vent covers in place. Welding was giving away. Should be secure now. Added the missing fire hatchet to the emergency case in the access hallway. To do. Inform engine room not to overdo the power transfer from the an anti-gravity field engine. I don't want to die in a nuclear explosion. Send back numbers for the anti-gravity engine to Roswell research team. Roswell? They're doing research at... They've taken over the research base at Roswell, New Mexico? I mean, they did take over the US. Notice, everyone, this is very important. Do not initiate the failsafe sequence for the tractor clamps from the main control room unless you get the go-ahead from command. I had to explain to General Angle that you are not useless ba baboons and that you are in fact beneficial to the Reich, so if I see any of you idiots handing the controls again, handling the controls again without authorization, I will personally throw you into the Atlantic. Also, stop misplacing hatchets. <laughs> I don't think I'm looking at the camera, this must be something below it, right? From... Ober... Let... And Anselm Decker to Odin Security, 25th of June, 1961. Following the infiltration of the moon base, the Ober Commando has demanded that the main security system aboard the Osmerzer is to be upgraded. Several backup systems and failsafes are to be put in place in the Odin system. The Odin system is the most advanced and sophisticated surveillance system in the world. If our enemies got hold of a fraction of this technology, we would feel the repercussions for years to come. All authorization codes are to be stored at the uh, Upper Commander Central Servers. General Angle expects this to be done by the end of the week. What's that sound? It's like something large stomping around. Another hatchet. Oh, you can collect multiple hatchets and throw them just like knives. <laughs> nice. Guess this is a stealthier way I could have taken. And this is where I came from. Okay. Let's go. Wait. What was that? Ah, grenades. Also gotta remember I can save the game. Oh, can I can I do a slide? Yes, you can still slide. Ooh. Assault rifle? It didn't give me a new weapon. Little tutorial prompt, did it? Huh. I was just testing out the weapon switching a little bit. Yeah, the V thing is a bit cumbersome and weird. If you're using thumbsticks on a controller, I imagine it'd be pretty good. It feels very strange on the mouse, though. At the moment, it looks like my best bet actually might be the number keys. So if I press 1, for example, it switches to the pistol. If I press 1 again, it switches to dual wielding pistols, although I can also just press X to switch to dual wielding the weapon as well. If you're already holding two weapons like this though, and I press 2, which will take out the SMG, it only switches the right weapon. If I press 2 again, it switches to just that weapon, and if I press 2 a third time, it switches to dual wielding them. So, 
What if I press 1 to go to pistol and then X for dual wield? Does that switch to dual pistols? No, it does the same thing where it alternates between the two weapons, just the one weapon, and then two of the same weapon. A little bit odd, but, uh, yeah, it'll probably be fine. Blow it up, huh? All right. Got myself a new exit. Was that a grenade, I guess? Another one. Oh. Probably really shouldn't be that bold on this difficulty. All right, I gotta get the commander. Where's that commander? That looks dangerous. Oh, there they are. Lasquist was really affected by Caroline's death. Is this the Enigma machine? Looks like it could be. Maybe not. Whoops. That's it. Controller bay.
Jesus. Whoa. What the hell is that thing? It looks incredibly cool, though. Laser gear, or whatever. A uh, laser weapon fires high energy laser beams that can overheat thin sheets of metal until they melt. Metal marked with yellow chevrons indicates it can be dissolved. Can be reloaded at a charging station. It's not a part of your inventory, but you can drop it at any time. Interesting. So, it's implemented gameplay-wise like those, uh, those, what were those? Those like mounted machine gun things that you could pick up, even if they weren't mounted. You could pick those up, and they weren't part of your inventory. You could drop them at any time. It's like that, except it seems to have some functionality of uh, laser cutter things, sort of. It can melt metal. That is so fucking cool looking. Is that a tutorial prompt gonna disappear at any time? Or is that just gonna stay there till I melt the thing? Probably gonna melt the thing. God, it looks amazing. Yeah, it even behaves like the machine gun, too. If you hold down right-click, it keeps it spinning up without firing, so you could fire instantly with left-click instead of waiting for it to spin up. So like this, keep it going. I wish that damn prompt would disappear so I could see it spinning, because I see a beautiful motion blur on it. So these can be melted, right? Ho oh, ho 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 ho! That looks so fucking cool. Have to recharge this thing somewhere. Or I could just pick up the other one. That is so unbelievably cool looking. Oh shit. Oh. Wow. So you can just melt the whole battlefield. Wow. I love that. It's interesting too. I think it's a good move. One of the problems with the laser cutter thing, I forget the full name of it, the laser cutter thing that would allow you to cut open boxes and things like that. One of the problems is it was kind of finicky, because you could use it both as a weapon and as a laser cutter, and sometimes it was hard to tell what mode it was in, so sometimes you'd accidentally shoot when you meant to cut, or cut when you meant to shoot. And every time you found a box, if you wanted to be maximally efficient with picking up um, every single little piece of 
ammo and armor and health that you find, you want to open up every single box, which every time means stopping, selecting the weapon, making sure it's on the right mode, and then deliberately trying to cut out the right shape so that you can actually get inside of it. And you had to be particularly careful with the shape if you wanted to actually move through it, like cutting open a fence. Sometimes you had to be pretty careful, otherwise you wouldn't quite fit. So it was kind of finicky and a bit slow. But this thing, now it's something that you don't just always have with you, so it's not something you probably have to feel like you always have to use if you want to be efficient, because most of the time you probably won't have it. But if you do, you could just shoot it for like a quarter of a second, and then it opens. It's much faster. Very smart change, I think. We'll see how it plays out, but yeah, I like it so far. Oh yeah, and just walking over stuff gives you the ammo, so you don't have to hold, like, mash E. Yeah. Although it's going to be hard for me not to mash E, because I really want to. I'm so used to it. Oh, that needs to be melted. Yeah, they've done some good stuff to increase the like fluidity and, and pacing of the combat. Oh, that's what these things are. These are the charging stations. Yeah, okay, let's grab a gun. Two hundred kilowatt hours, that's a shitload of power. I love how that looks. That pile of luminous particles is gorgeous. Probably be stealthy, huh? This thing is not stealthy. Oh. I'm guessing throwing an uh, axe at one of those big ones is not going to do much. I maybe could do a takedown, though. Don't know until we try. Where'd that go? Okay. Extremely powerful, but uh, you're very slow in using it, that's for sure. Let's try again. Let's go a different way. Ooh, there's one. Oh, that was satisfying. Nice. 
Okay. All right. It's our choice how we want to engage him now. Hmm. I'm guessing shooting that thing on their back probably would do a lot. Oh yeah. Too hard to take down if you hit him either in the tank in the back or the head. I'm still mashing E. Oh, that's another problem that they fixed now with this new system where if you walk over stuff you just get it instead of having to press E. Is before when you take down big enemies like this, you'd have like a bunch of armor pieces and stuff dropped around them, plus their weapons. So if you matched E, you'd pick up all the armor, but then usually you'd accidentally pick up the weapon when you didn't actually want it. But now, I don't need to do that. Nice. Is that really all the enemies? I guess when there's no reinforcements. I got 25 out of 25 headshot kills. It didn't say perk unlocked, though. Um, I should probably actually look at the perks, huh? Ah, oh, I see. Right, so they've done an interesting change with the perks. It used to be that there was a relatively small amount of perks, and it took a while to get them, and then once you got the thing, it made a big change. But now it looks like they're giving you a bunch of different levels of each perk. So they're giving you, like, smaller bonuses, but it's easier to get those bonuses, and you can keep getting those bonuses even towards much later in the game, I'm guessing. Like, I've gotten the first level of headshot kills, which gives me 5% increased damage when aiming down sight. Next level is 10%, and I'm guessing one after that, 15, 20, etc, etc. So, it sounds like more frequent, smaller bonuses. Which is probably a good thing, because by the end of the game, both in the Old Blood and in the New Order, I, I think I found myself not really particularly caring about perks, because I had everything I wanted. Now, there's probably always going to be something to shoot for. Well, this is interesting. Commander alarm signals are jammed, delaying alarm activation. That'd be nice. Increased movement speed and crouch also would be nice. where I came from. Oh, oh, I'm back here. Right, this is not where I just came from, but this is where I came from a while ago. There, I think, is the leg from the commander who I silently <laughs> murdered. Not sure which way I'm going, actually. I know I blew that up and went down there. Um, I guess I'll probably go this way.
Oh yeah. Sounds like it. Well, you know what? Now that I can just save wherever I want, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.